the heart of darkness, shrouded in an eerie stillness, there lies a road that forever bears the weight of its haunted past. This is no ordinary road, my friends, for it carries a burden woven with spectral threads that have traversed through time itself. They say that on this desolate stretch of dirt, reality and the realm of the supernatural collide, intertwining in a dance of mystery and fear. As the sun sets and dusk descends upon the land, the road takes on a life of its own. Shadows lengthen, casting ominous silhouettes upon the worn gravel, as if they were portents to the impending darkness that consumes the souls daring to venture upon it. The air thickens with an inexplicable heaviness, as if the very atmosphere is tainted by the lingering presence of those long departed from the realm of the living. Whispers echo through the wind, carrying tales of tragedy and despair as if the road itself mourns the souls that have been forever lost to its embrace. But what is it that makes this road so haunted? Is it the residual energy of long forgotten tragedies? No one truly knows. As the midnight hour approaches, the road becomes a realm of palpable dread. The shadows deepen and the air grows colder. One can almost sense the weight of eyes upon them, unseen and yet undeniably present. So, dear listeners, if ever you find yourself drawn to the thrill of the unknown, be cautious as you tread upon that forsaken path. The road may tempt you with its mysteries, but know that once you venture into its realm, there may be no turning back. The spirits that reside within will forever haunt your dreams, their spectral whispers echoing through your waking hours. This is the story of the three-legged lady of Nash Road. Gravel crunches below the tires of an approaching car. The dirt road illuminated only by the moonlight peeking through the woods of northern Mississippi. The car rolls to a stop next to a now vacant lot which used to be a quaint church house. The driver catches their breath, staring into the deep woods beyond. Slowly their hand reaches up and turns the headlights off. With one deep breath, they press the horn once. The sound rings through the trees twice. Their palms begin to sweat with an inexplicable nervousness. The third and final press of the horn holds less conviction than the previous two. They sit in silence, hearing nothing but the running engine and the hitched breathing through their nose. Knock. A metallic thump from the roof of the car. Knock. Their hands dart to the wheel in preparation for the expected situation. Knock. Their foot slams into the accelerator as the car tears off down the dirt road. The vehicle kicks up dust in its wake as it zooms through the trees. From the corner of the driver's eye, a shadowy figure darts between the trees. Then from the darkness, the figure emerges. A haunting specter of a woman careening towards the car being propelled by three separate legs. She slams into the car, screaming at an inhuman volume. The driver manages to regain control of the car, only for another ramming force to hit the opposite side. The panic and adrenaline is the only thing pushing the driver forward. As the end of the road approaches, the car gets one more slam from the ghostly woman. The car spins, losing control on the rocky surface. The driver closes their eyes and begins to pray. One final scream echoes through the air as the car skids to a halt. Heavy breathing, white knuckles, and closed eyes adorn the driver. After a moment, they open their eyes slowly. Nothing but the night can be seen through the trees. In the front of the car lies the skid marks, crossing the end of Nash Road. The legend of the three-legged woman has haunted Mississippi for years. Born in the woods along a dirt road, this legend began to manifest. Whispers and rumors surrounding a strange haunting surfaced within the community. Adrenaline junkies, brave high school and college kids, and people with more than an itch of curiosity have traveled to this location 
to see something special. Basically, there is a ritual attached to this haunting. You're supposed to go to the location of a church in your car, turn off your headlights, and honk three times. That will summon the three-legged woman, and you'll know the ritual worked if you hear three knocks on the roof of your vehicle. At that point, you are entered into a race to the end of the road against the spirit. She won't let you go easy, though, as she will slam and attempt to ram your car off the narrow dirt road. Some have claimed to have large dents in the side of their vehicles after attempting the ritual. The chase is said to happen between 2661 and 4548 Nash Road, which is roughly a mile in length. The road is located in Columbus, Mississippi, which is on the northern side of the state. This legend is not well spread nationally, but word of mouth within the community area keeps the story going strong. The origin of the story is so hard to track down. Through research, I couldn't find when the story began to circulate the area, but I was able to find multiple stories that claimed to be the explanation for this entity. Some say a church along the road was abandoned at some point, which was then used for satanic cult activity. One night, a ritual ended up burning the church to the ground and summoning this malevolent demon woman with three legs. Others mention it was a woman who was distraught over her lover dying in the Civil War, and she sewed the leg to her body to always have a piece of him with her. One of the more notable stories is that of a crestfallen mother. The story goes a mother in the late 1800s allowed her young daughter to go out and play in the woods. She made sure the little girl knew to be home before sunset, as the woods could be a dangerous place at night. As the sun went down though, her daughter didn't return. When the darkness enveloped the woods, the mother made the decision to go looking for her. What she found sent her spiraling. Pools of blood could be found scattered across the dirt path in the woods. In the end, the only piece of her daughter she could find was a dismembered leg. She now haunts the dirt road with her third leg being that severed limb from her little girl. However, there is one story I find the most compelling that seems to explain everything noted in the legend. In the mid-1800s, there was a small farm tended to by a farmer and his wife. As part of the community, they attended a small church located on what is now Nash Road. At the church, there was a young widow they met who was willing to help them process and sell their harvest and goods. Well, the farmer began to go into town more and more often without his wife, and she began to notice something strange. When they would attend church, her husband would be overly nice to the young widow. Each week, she felt the eyes of the churchgoer staring at her with an air of sympathy. Whispers eventually reached her ears. The whispers confirmed her greatest fears. Her husband was sleeping with the young widow. At this point, something in her mind snapped, and one Sunday service, everything escalated to a horrifying level. During the service, the young widow was called to the pulpit and was being congratulated for her efforts in the community. As the applause and murmurs of thanks died down, one sound echoed through the building. The farmer's wife sat in her pew, laughing. Her bloodshot eyes were glued wide and affixed to the widow. The cackling grew in intensity as she slowly stood up and walked out of the church. Silence fell over the congregation. The only sound that could be heard was a small metallic clunk, followed by three knocks. Awkwardly, the service continued, as the widow now went and sat down next to the farmer. Soon, the noses of the patrons turned up and sniffed the air, smelling something strange yet familiar. Smoke. The scent of burning wood drifted into the building, followed shortly by flames making their way into the church. Panic gripped the people as everyone rushed to the door in an attempt to save themselves. Hands gripped it, pulling it desperately, only to find that the metallic clunk from earlier was the farmer's wife locking the door from the outside. From the road outside, the wife watched with a wide grin as the screams and flames rose, and everyone who wronged and judged her burned to the ground with the building. The next day, the wife came back to the rubble and the ashes. 
Looking at the wreckage, she saw the unrecognizable bodies of the congregation scattered around. From underneath a fallen beam, she noted a disembodied leg. On the end of the leg was a work boot from her husband. She pulled the leg from the dust and grinned ear to ear. She brought the leg home, and using twine in her sewing kit, she attached the leg to her body. She did this so her husband would be with her once more, forever, and could never leave her again. Today, the ghost of the farmer's wife is said to haunt Nash Road, ready to chase down anyone willing to take on her challenge. And so, as I reach the end of this haunted tale, I can't help but feel a mix of emotions, awe, trepidation, and a lingering curiosity. This place, with its haunted past and restless spirit, reminds me that there's more to our world than what meets the eye. It serves as a chilling reminder that the supernatural and the unexplainable may exist alongside our mundane reality. And though I never may fully understand the mysteries that lie within this road, I am grateful for the glimpse into the unknown. For it's opened my eyes to the boundless wonders and terrors that reside just upon our grasp. If there are any hauntings, oddities, or mysteries you want to see covered, make sure to leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to click the like and subscribe buttons. I'm Chris with Darkness Tales. And as always, have a terrifying evening.